right, if you enjoyed that video, that beautiful F-body doing all those crazy donuts, that's Camaro Rick. So stop on by his channel. I'll put a link in the description. One thing that I love about North Carolina that we don't get in Florida is seasons. We do not see trees change colors like this. Sure, you get leaves all over your yard, but I mean, look at the colors on that tree, tree over there, across the street. It's gorgeous. Today on Chemical Spore, I'm gonna show you something different. If you got a monsoon system in your 97 to 02 Camaro, when it comes to the speaker in the front, it's gonna have four connections, high frequency, low frequency. And I'm gonna show you how to put in the aftermarket stereo, how to rewire it so that it will work properly with the rest of the system. So unfortunately, to be able to take out this speaker, you gotta take off the door panel. So this is how it always goes. Actually, let me go ahead and make sure that drill is in the right position there. Yeah, I don't like that noise. When you hear that jumping noise, that skipping noise, you're going to end up stripping the screws. So, got these screws here. Got a screw there. Two up underneath there. And then we'll be able to pop this thing off. So, eh. I'm going to skip that part. If you reference my last video, you'll see how to take that off. I'll even put a link in the description. There's going to be three bolts once you get that door panel off. Holding the housing. Come on. Actually, shit. There's gonna be three bolts holding in the housing for the speaker. And it's gonna be seven millimeters to get those out. And just go around so you get all three of those bolts out. The whole assembly will come out, and then we're going to unplug the wire harness. Speaker's out, there's the wire harness. So just uh, get yourself a screwdriver and push down on that tab. Just work that out, be able to separate it. All right, let's get this speaker out of its housing. Go ahead and pop this clip out of place. Well, that was tough. What you see here with this monsoon system has got four connectors in there. So you got your high frequency and your low frequency. Your high frequency is going to be on the top if you take a look at the magnet and how those lettering is. So you remember, top is high, low is low. So what I'm going to do is we're going to be using this same harness here. So I'm going to clip this off. But you do have to remember because of how the connectors are and how the connectors are in a car. And you're gonna to have to remember that these are the high frequencies and these are the low frequencies. So even if, when you, if you cut these off, get yourself some masking tape, just put a piece of masking tape around it so you remember that this is high frequency. At least mark one of them so you don't get them mixed up. Now, I'm a speaker here, I already have these wires already torn out. So these are the high frequency wires. They were connected these high frequency wires here. They were connected onto here by soldering. And then these actually are the low frequency connections there. And I'm using these, this harness here just so I can have these tabs connected into the low frequency, which I'm going to be cutting this wire harness and I'm gonna be soldering on this harness here. I'll show you how that's done. 
All right, so I got this wire harness cut off and I just put like a piece of aluminum foil around these two wires to signify that it's high frequency and then the one without is the low frequency. So let's go ahead and get this going. All right, so I got it marked. This is high frequency. And these two wires that you see running up under the magnet and down in here, pull that back a little bit. So you see those two wires, those are gonna be the high frequency wires. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to connect these together. I'm gonna to solder them and then I'm going to wire crimp it. All right, so I got one piece soldered on. Didn't really wanna show the soldering. I'm not really good at it, but it is holding up. And I was unable to get one of the crimpers over both of those wires. So what I'm gonna do is just wrap this up really well with electrical tape. I decided to ditch the harness with the end connectors and I went ahead and just soldered the wire directly onto the contacts. So there, there, and these two. So remember, the two wires hanging out, those are the high frequencies, low frequency, and you do need to remember the same when you cut the wire harness off of here at the right side up, these are gonna be the high frequency and those are gonna be the low frequency. So you just need to match those up accordingly. Speaker's back in its housing. So I went ahead and electrical taped off those two contacts since they are loose. Don't want them to move around, touch each other and cause bad connection. Those are soldered down into place. Got this clipped back onto the housing as well. The harness there. Those four seven millimeter bolts that hold that into place. There's gonna be three seven millimeter bolts that hold this housing into the door panel itself. I'm gonna plug this thing back in. Put this back into place. Just like so. So remember, keep those three uh, bolts set aside. Put this back in here. Not too tight, you don't want to crack the plastic. Now that it's in, I'm do a little test. Make sure some sound come out of it. I'm going to direct the sound all the way to this speaker only. So no sound will come out of the other speakers. By adjusting the fade and the balance. Good Lord, that thing's loud. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the door panel back on, but I also have some other speakers. I got these little SCAR audios right there. So I got this one hardwired in, and I'm going to do the same with this, but I'm going to have to pull these out. Thing with these, you can see that they're riveted in, so I'm going to have to rivet those, well, rivet those. I'm going to have to drill those rivets out and then just use screws to be able to fit those into place. So those are also SCAR audios, and that's what I just put in the door. But I do need to replace the speakers that are in the back there. There are 6.5 inch subwoofers and those things are blown. Those are factory speakers. They're about 18 years old now. Um, this car is 18 years old. So, I mean, it's mostly original when it comes to the interior and uh, the hardware as far as the stereo. Even the stereo is uh, original. It's a, uh, it's hard to focus in on that from where I'm standing. It's a CD player, but it houses the monsoon system, which there's an amplifier behind this panel kind of behind where the spare tire goes, which I don't want to mess with that because I do love the way the factory system sounds. It's a 500 watt system. Yeah, I have to burn CDs, but I'm trying to find a way. I think there's, later on down the road, there's actually a device that you can plug into the back of that stereo and just have a, a head, what do you, the um, headphone jack. You plug the headphone jack into your device, your phone, iPod, whatever you got, 
and just run the music that way instead of like using Bluetooth. I mean, I'm not sure if they come out with a Bluetooth device for it yet. Okay, so for the rear, I got one speaker in the panel there. So it's going to replace these. You can see the very papery coney stock speakers. And then this is that SCAR that I'm using. So this is an SK4, 40 watts RMS, which takes 40 watts to push it. And 80 watts is most they can handle. So I think it's going to be very, very, very well off for this system. So I'm just going to take this. So what I did with this one here was I... I popped out those rivets there, and then I just used some screws with some nuts on the back. Not there, not there. So just so I find something that fits. I don't know the exact measurements, but these were just some uh, bolts, nuts I had laying around. Here we go. So got the drill bit on there. Gonna do the rivets on the back side. Just found it a little bit easier. Hard to do this one-handed while holding the cam. Right, got the speakers in there. Speaker grill. That's what it looks like exposed so that's that scar audio and they do sound pretty good so that's the end of this video i hope you uh hope you enjoyed that hope you learned it from it so if you got a monsoon system be sure to pre-wire that speaker with that four connector mount that harness to be able to make sure you know you get the right sound quality out of it the system doesn't short itself out for having wiring in the wrong location so make sure you do the Highs and lows, all wired up correctly. And that's it. So I'm gonna call it the night. We'll get on that next video. See, there's always, always, always something else to come up with. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is Chemical Spore, once again, out.